All right, before we even start this video, let me just say this. I know people are gonna be in the comments telling me that I damaged my hair, you should've just done this, you should've just done that. I'm a grown woman, I'm an educated grown woman, and I made the conscious decision to put chemicals in my hair. It's done, boo, it's done. You don't have to tell me what I coulda, shoulda, did. I already did it. So, with that said, let's jump right in. Still back in time, boy. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, we're gonna be discussing my not so natural hair anymore. I know you guys remember a couple of months ago, was it a couple months ago? I think it was a couple months ago. I made a video about five reasons why I hate my natural hair. And in that video, I told you guys about some of the struggles that I was having during my natural hair journey. After I made that video, I was still fighting the good fight. I gave it the old college try. And I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Like I just, I just sat down and I told myself it, it, it shouldn't be this hard to just do my hair. And I know some people do enjoy the process, or for them it's worth it. For me, it was not worth it. It was not worth the struggle, it was not worth the headache, it was not worth the time, the hours that I spent trying to soften my hair and deep condition it and mask. And I know you guys are gonna say, you should've tried this, you should've tried that. Just trust and believe that I tried everything that I could. Number one, it was too time consuming. I did not enjoy the process. I don't wanna do something that I don't enjoy and I wanted to find an alternative. There has to be an alternative to still enjoy my hair and love my hair and wear my hair the way I want it to look and not have to deal with all of that. So. I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research, girl. Like, I watched a lot of videos. I did a lot of Google research. And um, I came up with the conclusion that I wanted to texturize my hair. And I know there's some big debate that goes on between having texturized hair and, and, and text lax hair. Girl, I don't know the difference. Chemicals is chemicals. I put chemicals in my hair and it did what I wanted to do. So that's what we're going to leave it at. So. I wanted to make this video for people who are out there and you're thinking about maybe texturizing your hair and you kind of wanted to hear an opinion of somebody who's done it and how it turned out. And this is a texturizer that I use. It is the Silk Elements uh, Sensitive Scalp Texturizer and this one is for coarse hair and this is what it looks like. I got mine from Sally's Beauty Supply. I did buy two boxes but, but I only ended up using one box. When I was watching YouTube videos and doing my research, the main thing that everybody was saying was that you do not want the texturizer or the relaxer, whatever you're using, to stay on your hair for a long time. The whole application process took me about maybe 10 to 12 minutes, and as soon as I was done applying it, I jumped right into the shower. Um, so when I was applying it, I parted my hair in four, so two puffs in the front, two puffs in the back. The middle to the back of my hair is much more, much more coarse than the front of my hair, so I started with the back. I applied it at the roots. I didn't really apply much to the tips of my hair, um, I did do a little bit at the very end just to drag it down a little bit but it was probably sitting on the ends of my hair for like two minutes and that was it after I was done applying it jumped right into the shower did not give it time to sit and marinate straighten too much of my hair I jumped right into the shower and washed it out now I have 4C hair at least that's what I believe I had prior to texturizing my hair before the texturizer did not have like ringlet, ringlet curls, so I did not expect my hair after the texturizer to have ringlet curls. When I came out of the shower, there was a little bit more curl definition to my hair, but it wasn't anything major that I needed to like take a picture to show you guys. It was just wet hair. <laughs> my hair just felt softer, um, and it was a lot more flowy, pretty much. That's, that's what I can tell you happened to my hair, so there was no whoosh, Pantene commercial curls out of the shower. I didn't have that and I didn't expect that, so I was totally okay with that. So right after I came out the shower, I put my little conditioner and my little oil to seal it in and I took myself to bed. Woke up the next day scared, thinking that my hair was gonna be damaged. Like As soon as I took off that ponytail, my hair was just gonna 
crinkle to the floor. My hair didn't fall off. My hair was totally okay. And my hair is still poofy. My hair is still coarse. My hair is still thick, which I was so scared I was gonna lose the fullness and the thickness. But I don't think I lost it. I think it's still there. And that was pretty much it. That was the process for me. For me, since I have texturized my hair, it has gotten so much more easier to detangle my hair, to comb my hair, to wash my hair, to style my hair. All of that is a breeze now. Like, I don't have to spend much time on it. For example, today, this makeshift hairstyle that I did, which you guys know I'm not really big into hairstyles. Sidebar, last time that I made a little hair video, I was just trying to share my little hairstyles that I do, you know, I know it's not for everybody, and I did say that in the video, this is not for the girl who wants to look snatch and beat and you know, all of that uh, with hair. It was just a small tutorial showing you guys what I do, if it helped you guys, and people were in the comments talking about, I wouldn't leave the house with my hair looking like that. Well, nobody asked you to do that. I left the house with my hair looking like that. My husband loved it, so what is your point? I have been real feisty lately in my videos, have you guys noticed? I'm just over it. I'm just over people um, coming for me 2017. There will be no coming for Benji. This little makeshift hairstyle that I did is three days old, which is why it might not look the best or the freshest. Um, this is a braid out, and I love braid outs. I was not able to do braid outs before uh, when my hair was fully, fully 4C natural, but now they are easy to do. All I do is spray my hair with water, put in some conditioner, braid my hair, um, and go to sleep. And that's it. I, I get up in the morning and I take down the braids. I don't brush the braids. I just pull them apart with my fingers. They look so popping. Like the first day you do it. This is the third day, so it's not as great anymore. But the first day, girl, you look so... you. <laughs> Your braid out? Can't nobody tell you nothing. This is just what I like to do. I want to wear my hair out. I don't want to have to do protective styles all the time. Like, my husband loves my hair. And he's always like, I want to see your hair. Wear your hair out. Like, pull your hair out, girl. Let me walk in the streets with you with your fro all out. And I was like, yes, I want to do that. But I don't want to spend two hours detangling my hair. So, this works for me. It doesn't have to work for you, which is something we need to learn here on YouTube. It doesn't have to work for you, but it works for me, and I like to share with people who have thought about it, or who are currently texturized, or who are thinking about getting texturized. It's okay. If a video does not appeal to you, it is completely okay to click off. No one is gonna come looking for you. The click off police does not exist. No one is gonna come looking for you if you click off of a video that you do not care for. I'm saying that to say, I texturize my hair. It works for me. I love it. I'm still in the, f this is the first time that I've ever done this to my hair. So I don't know when I'm gonna need to texturize again. I'm gonna try to write it out for as long as possible. <sighs> so yeah, that's my hair. I hope you guys love it. I really, really, really love it. And I love how easy it is to take care of. And that's all that I wanted. I just wanted easy, breezy hair. And I got that. And uh, I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Or when I do decide to update on my hair, make sure you also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you are somebody who is texturized or text lax, let me know down below what your experience has been uh, with um, this new process that you've done to your hair. I'd love to hear about it because I'm still in the beginning of that. So maybe you guys do have some tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!